Uh, the trick carts actually came in handy. They would walk them down the road to camping areas, go to camperies uh, for many years, carrying the wagons and the stuff with them. Being a military man, when Clifton uh, came back from the Army, they developed something called the pine tree drill, which is the layout that you see here today. Uh, there's specific uh, points that the equipment must be placed in, and the tents are set up with stabs. They used to carry the stabs and walk with them, and then use them to, uh, to put up the pup tents. Um, when I came in the troop, we were actually using the pup tents for camping, which was quite an experience. No mosquito netting, no flooring, and if you put them up with the stabs, the corners leaked where the stabs were. <laughs> so it was, it was like uh, difficult if it rained. Anyway, this is the pine tree drill. They're setting them up uh, for time and accuracy. The staff will be um, taking a look at it after we're finished and uh, see what kind of a winter we've got here. Um, obviously, we've come a long way in equipment from these days, and uh, we all have tents now that are domes and uh, uh, with the mosquito netting and flooring. In case you don't know the, the history of uh, Paoli One, we were started in the uh, Church of the Good Samaritan in Paoli and uh, started by the rector of the Good Samaritan Church, Horace Walton. Um, Horace actually went to England and met Baden Powell and saw scouting in England and brought the idea back for his uh, parishioners uh, at the Church of the Good Samaritan. In the early days, uh, Clifton um, was his assistant scoutmaster. So Clifton was there for a long time. He was there from uh, 1919 and before that, of course, as an assistant and as a scoutmaster from 1919 uh, to 1929. Uh, Horace was the beginning and Clifton brought to the program an outdoor spirit and the military background which we have today. Uh, Clifton was an amazing gentleman. I had the uh, pleasure of knowing him back in the 60s. Uh, got my eagle from him. We used to take a hike out to Chester Springs to his farm every year and uh, his wife Nancy would give us milk and cookies and A little time for repair here. Staff will now inspect. In any case, Clifton Lyle was an amazing uh, individual. Uh, he was a military officer, he was a teacher, taught English at Penn Charter. Uh, he was an author, wrote five different novels, uh, one of which called uh, Hobnails and Heather, about his trip to, uh, to England and France uh, in 1927, when that was really a big deal. He also went back in 1929. Uh, Clifton was the ultimate uh, Renaissance man. He was a gardener also, 
and of course all these other things combined. Very interesting gentleman to talk to. And he put the outdoor emphasis into this troop. He put the mil military bearing into it and uh, was uh, a great scoutmaster. Uh, Clifton died in 1966, was survived many years by his wife, Nancy, who was a wonderful lady. And we continued our, our uh, trek to uh, his house called Melbrook in Chester Springs until Nancy's death. And uh, she was always a welcoming host, although bedridden, uh, with the hip problems for almost 10 years. As Matt mentioned, it's the youngest scout in the troop, in the patrol. Um, it made some char cloth, hopefully out of claw. And uh, first the fire kind of wins. So they've been practicing this. Have some flint. Looks like a... Uh... Wow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah! Nice. That was pretty fast. Nice work, Addison. Yeah. Always falling like crazy. Yeah. 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 Nice work. Ryan's got another one. Might be practicing first aid today, too, for a second degree burn. <laughs> this up, get one or two more in. No texting the message to the other end. Mm -hmm. That's been tried. <laughs> and the scouts are supposed to write it down and not call out the message when they figure it out. Mm -hmm. One year, the first patrol, it was so excited, they yelled it out loud. Needless to say, everybody else came in second place.
did dot dot dash dot. What is that? I love that. Dot 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 dash dot. Uh, that's S, right? Uh, that dot dot dot. Like an SOS. That dot 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 dash dash dot dot dot. Yeah. Yeah. That's dash dash. Oh. O. That's dash dot. Dot. Dot what? Dot E? Yeah. That's yeah. just three dots, right? Mm-hmm. How we doing down there, team? This is a tower raising exercise to test the skills, uh, tie-in of uh, lashings. Um, so they pre-built the two sides and they basically have a few extra uh, pieces of wood they have to put on, lash up the tower, and the most critical point is they have to raise the tower, stabilize it, that's the operative word, stabilize it, well first they stabilize it, let this Patrol leader climb it, let go. Patrol leader salutes the senior patrol leader. It's been a little eventful some years, but they've been practicing this for a couple weeks. Last year we weren't allowed on the field until the week of, so this year they've been out for a couple weeks now. So you're good, Greg. Well, you hopefully got, the knots are tight. Today. Good for you. Yeah. you see they're all working as a team, grabbing the ropes, even the young guys. Every knot matters. Hopefully they're setting up at the right angles and everything. Everybody's looking good. How are they looking, guys? Make sure those knots are tight. Control ears counting on you. Get these tight. in their tower. Check it out, guys. Here goes Lion. Nice work, Charlie. Lion, nice work, guys. Power tower. Here goes Color. Get it up. There you go. Is it stable? Is raising her tower. Let's go. Spread the legs. Here comes Eagle. Whoa. Back him in. Yay. 
not exactly level. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Climb it. No way. Oh no. Oh, wait a minute. No. It's not going to go. They gotta stick to fire building. They put the they box put table hard and like, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Safety first. That's right. I was just telling my. This is very safe. <laughs> Most of the time. <laughs> nice work, guys. Thank you. 